How's it going guys? Nick here from Droid Dog with another Featured App Friday video for you. Today we're going to be looking at Google Translate for Android, which has been out for some time, but recently in the past few months and such, after ICS and Jelly Bean came out, it's going to receive some updates for design overhaul and some new features such as you can speak into it, you can take a picture of words in a different language and it'll automatically translate them into the language of your choice. You can write in words and all sorts of cool stuff. So we'll start by just showing you the basics. I have it set to English to Spanish now. So say I wanted to be like, how are you doing? And it'll already bring up suggestions. I can type that in. and It'll bring up como te va. So como te va is apparently how you say it, but say I don't know how to pronunciate it. I can press that little button there. And it'll say how to pronunciate it. You can also share it to all your different things. Um, I think that's copying. Yeah, copying. Moving into full screen to show someone. So then it moves into landscape. And that's, that's good for long messages if you need to show it to somebody in a different language, like you don't know how to say it and you can't figure out how to say it. Um, so if we exit out of that, we can change it to, say, uh, what's one? Here, Dutch. Um, we can be like, how much does this cost? Hoeveel kost dat? Hoeveel kost I don't really know how to say it, because I'm not Dutch. Anyway, so that's basically you get a look at right there, but... There are some other neat features, like you can write in things. So let's say I wanted to translate hello, and then I would type that in. Hello. Say I wanted to go back to Spanish, the same thing, Hola. and it would do it. So you can type that in, and you can type long phrases, but, you know, doesn't work the greatest because there's not all that much room to type, or write with your finger and it's kinda of hard to write on glass anyway and so another new feature is you can talk into it in your language of choice and it will translate so say I wanted to ask someone in Spain what's their favorite food what is your favorite food it's working right now thinking Still thinking. Still thinking. I don't know why it's taking so long. Let's just try it with something simpler. How are you? Hello, how are you? I guess I added them both together, so I'll just... <sighs> how are you? There. See, now it'll work. It says, Como estas? So you could be like, click on that. Como estas? Como estas? So that's kind of cool, but one of the really nifty new features of it is that you can actually take a picture of something in Spanish and it will translate it for you. Or at least, that's the theory. And you can do this in different languages too, not just Spanish. So right now I've just got a simple manual over here. Bring this into the picture more. So then you can highlight the text that you want to be translated. So just did that. Obviously it did not translate right, which I'm not really sure why. I've kind of have been having trouble with this feature, which leads me to believe that it might be a beta feature, but who knows, it might work for you. Some other cool things are that you can click there, you can go into what's called conversation view, where you can go um, back and forth with somebody in different languages, so if you're trying to have a full conversation, that works well. Click it again, 
could see your history, your favorites. I don't really have either of those right now, but. So that's been a quick look at Google Translate for Android. I can really see this coming in handy if you're traveling abroad in a different country. Like, say you have a business trip somewhere and you need to ask someone a question. You could go in conversation view and ask them the question and then have them speak the answer back into your phone. So then you would understand what they're saying too. So I can see that really being a good benefit of this app. So that's been this week's Featured App Friday. Be sure to follow Droid Dog on Twitter, Google Plus, subscribe to us on Facebook, follow me personally on Twitter at Zrycon15. Be sure to check out the site for more reviews and stay tuned. See you later, guys.